Hello everyone, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Julissa Monroe and the name of my company actually has changed. <laughs> which is, <laughs> which is um, Comfy ER. I don't know how many of you guys have been in, in an emergency situation where you've had to drop what you're doing and rush to the hospital because your brother, your sister, your cousin, grandma, mother, whatever, has been rushed to the hospital. So you're sitting in the ER and you're thinking, oh my gosh, I'm anxious, I can't sit down, I'm restless. And worst of all, it's cold. <laughs> it's so cold in the ER. So what I'm proposing for my product is that I would like to put a vending machine in there for people, the guests, who are sitting in the ER, who are cold, and who just want to relax. It has blankets in it. Everyone loves a good blanket, especially if you want to settle the little one down and put them to sleep, right? <laughs> That'll come in handy. Also, a pillow, a neck rest. You just want to lean back on something and just relax, right? So I would like to put a vending machine in the emergency room that would service the people who are, excuse me, not the emergency room, but the waiting room who would service the PR, people who are there waiting for hours and hours and hours for results just to know if their loved ones are even okay. And <laughs> So how are you going to get uh, emergency rooms and hospitals to accept this? Are you going to pay for the vending machines there? Are you going to rent existing ones? How's this going to work? Um, well, I would personally <coughs> like to purchase my own machine. Mm -hmm. um, and with, if I do that, then of course the hospital, if they allow us in there, they will take a percentage of it. And I would take a percentage, and um, of course we have to pay for the full service that we have to restock. And um, so I would prefer to sell it that way, just so that they can get continual, you know, revenue from this. We also get continual revenue, and it might be more of an incentive if they know they have something coming in uh, constantly. So how can you size your market? I mean. All ERs, or how how are you looking at that? Um, I kind of wanted to test it in the emergency room because that's originally where I got the idea from. And I know for sure if I'm sitting in, of course there would be other things in the vending machine as well. You know, little small essential things you may leave. You know, when you're in a rush, like a battery charger, or you know, maybe some lotion, hand lotion you don't have any with you. You know, little things like that. Um, but the main focus will be the pillows and blankets. And I know that when you go to the ER, the people aren't, they're not actually supposed to give you blankets and pillows. So with us having, offering that item, as well as a couple of other convenience items, people are more likely to buy, you know. And how much, I mean, a pillow or a blanket costs some money. Um, it could, yes, depending on where you get it, what type of fabric you use, of course, and um, who's making it. So that also is a big factor as well. I mean, it's kind of a big ticket thing to get out of a vending machine. Yes. Um, there's on that, on, on Professor Morris. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, kind of related to that point, how profitable are vending machines in general? Um, are they really profitable, just somewhat profitable, kind of margins on vending machines? Well, actually, it's a. $20, million, $20 billion a year industry. Of course, most of it being snacks and sodas, you know, but there are different types of vending machines that we're creating now. The most common one we see all the time, Redbox, right? And um, a lot of people actually, marketing has changed a little bit with vending machines as well. You know, if you have certain brands like um, Best Buy and Apple, they actually have vending machines now in airports, which is ultimately where I would like to be. Thank you. Thank you.